Joshy, congratulations, mate. Could you tell us a little bit about why you decided to extend when you were already locked in for the next couple of years? Yeah, a big thing is um, with that group at the moment, um, we're a nice, young, tight, fit group. Um, we want to have that success, um, hopefully in, in the years to come and, and potentially this year as well. Um, we're playing a really good style of football at the moment. Um, everyone's buying in on board. Um, we're sitting in the fight at the moment, still a long way to go, but yeah, we can definitely see the success um, coming in years to come. You signed an extension before you'd even played a game as well. Why was it important now to commit till 2029? I think the opportunity just arose um, and I had no intention of going home um, whatsoever. Um, it made it pretty easy with one of my good mates, Jake, signing on and a lot of the other younger boys signing on at the moment. Um, so that's just a testament where the group's at at the moment um, and the fact that the, the coaching staff and uh, the board have in, in myself and, and the young crew. Why is not going home a big thing for you? We hear some players talk about it and you, it's fair enough if you want to play with your friends and family nearby, but why was not going home a factor? I think because Adelaide gave me the opportunity from to start with um, so I feel like I just like I have to pay them back in, in some sort of respect. Um, as I said, as I mentioned on on the radio this morning, I want to be a one club player. Um, that kind of started as a junior playing um, down at the Shepherd and Swans and, and being loyal um, to to my club. So I think having the opportunity Adelaide has given me from the start is something I want to repay in the future. So do you see yourself as a crow for life? Definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely for now. Nothing's changed um, whatsoever. Um, I think it just makes it a whole lot easier just to get this out of the way now. I can really focus on my footy for the next yeah, six to eight years. How did it come about in terms of when did this uh, extension get put to you and who did you have to discuss it with um, outside of your management? Yeah, a lot of it comes down to the club coming to my manager and my manager going to the club. Um, this probably come across yeah, probably a couple of weeks ago. Um, and then with Jake signing on as well, made it made it quite easy. Um, one of my best mates. Um, so that was that was really good. And as I mentioned before, it was just a no-brainer. I wanted to get it done as soon as I could. Was it something you talked to your family about and said, "Hey, I might be here for another four years on top of what I'm already here for"? Yeah, Mum's always been trying to get me back home. Like she she loves me being home. But um, as I said, the club's been really good to my family so far. Um, hopefully, my brother might be moving over next year at some stage. So that's just something that I can start with. Um, but yeah, they've been they've been really good to my family, and they've they've done a lot for me so far. Do you look at guys like Tex and Sloney, having played together so long, Laird, Smithy, and those sort of guys, and think that this crop, yourself, Chase, Max, Jake, could be could emulate that sort of um, level of longevity? Oh, definitely. I think, as I said, that's just why we signed at the start. Um, we all believe in in what we're doing. Um, and, and the same thing with Jake and these, these guys coming into state. Um, I think it just really shows that where, where we're heading as a group and we all want to stay on board and, and get that success. What kind of legacy do you want to leave here personally, Ash? Um, I def as I said, I want to be a one club player. Um, looking at like Tex and, and Rory and these guys who are playing 250 games, um, that's definitely something I want to do. Um, and then every day we have our meeting rooms and we see the likes of Rashudo, McLeod and those guys who have won back-to-back -back premierships. So I definitely want to be a premiership player, something I've always played for. Over the last uh, few days or over the bye, how much have you thought about the MCG and, and playing Collingwood? Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a massive focus. Obviously, being a, a Carlton fan growing up, I've always had a rivalry with Collingwood. Um, so going in there will be a, a great kind of um, test for our group to see how we can go against the best of the best. Um, and we definitely want to go back in um, and show them what we've got from, from last time when we played them. Um, obviously, it was, a, it was quite disappointing. I thought we should have got over the board um, in the end, but um, Collingwood's a, a great team at the moment, um, so we've just got to bring our best and, and see what can happen. Do you have a feeling you'd enjoy personally playing on the MCG? Yeah, definitely. Um, having my, first, my second game there last year was, I was just in awe the whole time playing at one of the best stadiums in the world. Um, and now to go play there against one of the, one of the best teams in the comp right now and, and show the AFL world what we can do as a team, um, I'm quite excited. And you match their uh, manic style of play. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that we've looked at the last couple of days. Um, they're a very um, pressure side, that's something they really focus on, so it will be really about opening up their, their kind of zone and, and finding those gaps. Um, and last, last time we played them, execution was something that we didn't, um, didn't do quite as good, so that would be the main thing for us. How would you describe your personal season so far? 
I've been quite happy, um, to be honest. Um, last year, I wanted to just try to play as many games as I could, and it's quite unfortunate to go down with the hip injury, and, and so far to be playing every game so far, and body's holding up really good, and I personally think I've been quite consistent compared to last year. Um, I've, been, I've been really happy with myself. Um, obviously, there's still a lot of growth to go in the next couple of years. There's something I want to be doing is playing in the midfield a lot more, um, but to have those um, bursts in there this year has really helped my game. How is Isaac coming in and your relationship with him your game this year? Yeah, it's been fantastic with Isaac. Um, it started from, from the start. He came in pre-season, just put his head down and, and went to work and earned the trust of all our teammates. Um, and the off-field stuff kind of happened quite quickly with me and him. We became quite close. Um, and I think that kind of helps with playing him, playing with him um, on the ground now. You can see that connection we have between us two and the fun we have when we're playing. So it's something that I, I can't wait to, to what's going to happen in the future with us playing together. You go. You go. You go. Minus. What was the reaction? I'll go. What was the reaction like at home when uh, you and Jake and all the boys were recommitted? Yeah, we were, we were thrilled. Um, the same with, with my other housemate, Luke Nankervis. He signed on this year till 2025 as well. So we're just all stoked to, to be a part of the Adelaide crew for a, a number of years now. And as I keep emphasising, we just want success as a team and, and to hopefully have Luke debut in the next next year or two as well, all us housemates playing together, which will be really enjoyable. Can the Adelaide Oval handle six or seven more years of Joshua Shelley celebration? It looks like it's about to come down every time you run to the pocket or something. Like yeah, as I was mentioning today on the radio, I've still got to find some new celebrations. I'm starting to get sick of a few. Um, but yeah, I haven't rolled out the Rocky for a while, so it's something I've got to bring back. That's what I was going to ask. I'm going to probably botch the name, but when are we going to see the Erling Haaland celebration? Yeah, that came up the other day at training. Um, I think if it came out at the MCG, it would be pretty silly, even though we fun of the home crowd. Um, so I'd definitely love to leave the, the celebration for the home crowd when everyone's up and about, but yeah, there'll be something this weekend if I kick a goal, that's for sure. Do you get the boys coming up to you? Um, we spoke to Ryan O'Brien yesterday, and he said even he has been waiting for when he kicks a goal next to celebrate with you and other. Yeah, it's just, as I said, it's just like pure excitement when we're kicking goals. Um, we love to bring um, smiles on, on the fans and that um, excitement kind of helps the team as well if we're, if we're down a couple of goals or the team's got a momentum kind of um, spit on us so um, it's something that we do, really do love doing at the moment. I think the older guys like Texas are starting to jump on board as well too. What did mum say <laughs> when you said I'm not coming home? Yeah she, no, I was just kidding before, like she, she loves it. Um, she kind of had to get used to it from an early age when I moved to boarding school at, at 15 and 16 so she's been used to it for for a number of years now um, and they actually love coming out of Adelaide, they've come over, they haven't missed a game all year so um, they're, they're there all the time. Just on the away record mate, what's your personal take on why the club has struggled on the road this year? Yeah, it's definitely something that's been emphasised a lot but um, every single game we've played away this year we've, we've been in the fight, it's not like we've got, other than the, the Bulldogs game, um, we've, we've played some good footy, we just haven't been able to string four cons consecutive uh, quarters in a row. Um, but yeah, we had that win obviously with Hawthorne, which was nice, but now this week we just completely disregard that and we just go in and, and try and win the game. What would a win over Collingwood at the G, almost the toughest test in footy do for the group? Oh, it would just be massive. I think that confidence boost up for, for everyone would really just open our eyes up to, to kind of acknowledge that we can play finals. I think at the moment we all know that it's something on the board, but um, we still know there's a long way to go. But if we can beat the best team in the comp, it's a really big confidence boost up.